Hey everyone, Equinox here, and welcome back to Super Mario 64. We have reached over 50 stars, and we are just now about to enter the top level of the castle. Now, I could actually go through the big star door that's next, but there's a ton of levels that we have yet to explore, so I'm going to tackle them first, and then... Um, once I'm content with how much I have done, I will go through the star door. So let's just take it nice and easy. What do you have to say, Toad? Thanks, Mario. The castle is recovering its energy as you retrieve power stars. And you've chased Bowser right out- uh, And you've chased Bowser right out of here. Onto some area ahead. Oh, by the by, are you collecting coins? Special stars appear when you collect 100 coins- in each of the 15 courses. I haven't really been doing that, but... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Toad. Mm -hmm. Thanks to the power of the stars, life is returning to the castle. Please, Mario, you have to give Bowser the boot. Here, let me tell you a little something about the castle. In the room with the mirrors, look carefully for anything that's not reflected in the mirror. And when you go to the water town, you can flood it with the high jump into the painting. Oh, by the way, look what I found. Yay! Here we go. <laughs> Thanks to Toad. Yeah, I love Toad. He's my favorite Mario character. Uh, okay, so I guess we're starting here. This is a very interesting world because that painting is fake. But I can go in this tiny one or this ridiculously large one. I'm going to start off in the tiny world because I like feeling like the um, dominant species of an entire planet. I mean, look at this tiny Goomba. He tried his best, but he's no match for me. Uh, but unfortunately, fire still hurts me. Even when everything is tiny! Now I gotta pluck the piranha plants. Ooh. Oh god, you're large. You're large. Ah! Ooh. They're kind of terrifying when they're that big. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did it. One down. Hmm. Oh, I want to go to Tall Tall Mountain. I think this one is actually my favorite world in the entire game. Scale the Mountain. Not only was this my favorite as a kid, but now... Every time I see this, I cannot think of anything except for the Game Grumps because of the whole story about Mark Zuckerberg and everything. You need to check out the Game Grumps playthrough of this game. It is hilarious. And there's a very uh, particular moment where... Uh, I'm not going to give it away, but it involves uh, one of them going on a, a rant while texting the other one uh, about something about the Facebook movie and Spider-Man and Mark Zuckerberg and it is hilarious and every time I see this level I think about that and it makes me laugh inside but before that back when I was just a kid I played this level in a really a uh, very positive time in my childhood and I think about 
playing this game back in the house I used to live in. Uh, I remember, um, that was also when I was first introduced to the Mario Brothers cartoon. From, all the way back from the 80s, I think. Either late 80s or early 90s. But it was like the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Uh, bouncy. Don't touch. Um, but... And I have a little bit of nostalgia for that cartoon. And I remember watching it alongside Heathcliff. The cartoon about the orange cat that isn't Garfield. But it's just a very... It's just memories that are unique to me. Because I don't think any kid my age at the time watched Heathcliff. Like, that was an old cartoon even before... Shit, I messed that one up. Even before, um... Yeah. Before I had watched it. I remember eating a lot of Chicken Nugget Lunchables, too. Um... Yeah, so Heathcliff, the Mario Brothers cartoon, and this level, um, and Chicken Nugget Lunchables. All of those coincide with this one particular memory I have. Uh, I think that was like the summer of 2005. Also, as I'm an adult now, I question the authenticity of chicken that is used in Lunchables. To the point where I'm a little bit afraid to eat them now, but I don't care. Like, I still value them as a memory. And I beat that whole level while reminiscing. Moving on. Hmm. So this is the level Toph was talking about. And... There's an icy portrait on, in the reflecting, but not in the wall. Also, this was how I figured out Lakitu was recording me. Because whenever I first encountered this mirror um, as a kid, I saw him and I was like, What? He's been there the whole time? Can I punch him? And it was mind-blowing. Snowman's big head. Uh, even though snow levels are kind of janky in this game, it is very peaceful looking, as long as you don't uh, count all the bloodthirsty enemies trying to kill you. Uh, no. uh, Skills. Ah, uh, frostbite. Frostbite on my butt. What? Uh, chicken McFucket. <clears throat> Give me coins so I don't die. Hi, snowman. One up. I need you. You come up. Mm. What are you even? Are you a flower? Is it me or does this from music remind remind me of One Ten Soldier? Is it me or does this music remind me? I mean to say, is it me or does this music sound like One Ten Soldier? Uh, particularly when it does the do 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 do. It's like One Ten Soldier. Ah. For those of you who don't know, I, um, Wanton Soldier was a choir song from my school. I, I'm sure a lot of schools sang it for choir, but how do I get to the snowman's big head? But it was basically like a, a very depressing song about war. Um, it's like, go ahead and hate your neighbor, go ahead and cheat a friend. Uh, what? Ugh. Get away from me, you stupid money bag. 
Yeah. But the whole lesson of that song was peace on earth. That's all that really matters. Anything else is just violence for the sake of violence. Pretty, pretty deep song, actually, and pretty beautiful. Ah! Oh my god, I'm hitting everything with every jump I take. How do I get to the Sassafras and Snowman? Do I need to... Maybe I need to... I need to boink up here and... Not the star I was going for, but I'll take it. Here we go. <sighs> what other level is there? Oh yeah, the water one. Shkaboodles. Wet dry world. Shocking arrow lifts. Oh, uh. That's right. Toad said this area would be flooded, uh. Depending on the height of my jump. Shit. Shocking arrow lifts. What does that mean? Arrow lifts? Arrow lifts. I see arrows, but not arrow lives. Hmm. This one needs to be flooded in order to lift me up. Uh, this bastard over here, I remember him being very irritant. In this case, he helped me. Do 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 do. Uh. Yes, shower me with your coinage. I don't know what I'm trying to go for. I'm just kind of rolling with it based on what I see and what I remember. Which is not a lot. Ah, uh, not you again. No! Okay, that's handy. Shit, I'm trying to grab him. Alright, come this way. Are you serious? Don't. Ugh. Come on. So I can't dive, I gotta... You get what you deserve. Ooh. Take a look at the city in the background. And it looks like we're underwater, so is this like an underwater Atlantis sort of thing? Oh god, camera. Uh, I don't know if this is where I need to be going, but I'm sure something good is this way, if it's this hazardous. That might be the shocking it was talking about. No, no, uh, I hate you with your fire. Oh, e. Star? Star. Here we go. I did it. I think that's all of the... All of them worlds, all of the individual worlds. Now we just need to collect as many stars as we can from them. <laughs> it's cute how the Goomba thinks he can defeat me. Looks like Goliath wins this fight. Let the ball pass. There we go. 
so I think I just need to climb this area. Uh, giant Goomba. Oh, I hate those blue chucker things. Especially in a level like this where you can fall to your death. It's okay, he just wanted to fuse into the wall, I guess. Yeah, this is a star right here. What did I tell you? Am I a gamer or what? Oh! I almost fell off. But I didn't because I am a pro gamer. I say in the most ironic way possible. Yeah, this is nice. Let's just uh, go in a circle with every star until we can't. Mystery of the monkey cage. And I'm going for this one up every time I come here. I need to rack up those lives. Especially since the, the worlds that are behind the star door are pretty challenging. Odds are there will be a lot of death involved. But I'm particularly not looking forward to the Rainbow Cruise. As iconic as it is, it's hard. Especially with how this game controls. But beautiful levels that are kind of awkward to maneuver around and can cause a lot of rage. Isn't that what Mario's all about? I hear monkey. Hey, don't yo! Woohoo! Oh. Who keeps throwing these giant balls at me? Gimme coin! Yeah, fine. Keep your secrets. I'll get this one up here. Skills. What the hell? He gave like an extra boingy jump before charging after me. They usually like jump once and then charge, but he jumped multiple times. The rogue. And that stupid cloud right there will blow me off the mountain and my hat with it. <laughs> Oh. Alright, there is the cage. Try not to fall off. That would be annoying. And oh, and here is monkey up here. Hi friend. We play in tag. Oh. Ooh. He's adorable, but I want to catch him. Please don't run for me. Let it happen. Let it happen. Ooh, God. Uh, come on, you little monk monk. I'm afraid to... I'm afraid to dive because I'm afraid I'm gonna like miss the railing and fly over. Oh! Like I almost did there. Monkey! Come here! Man, you're, you're just as bad as the rabbit. But at least... But at least uh, we're in a smaller area than the rabbit. Man, he's more maneuverable. I don't know if I said that correctly. Uh -huh. uh, I'm trying to like turn completely around whenever. Wait, wait. Yeah, trapped you. Ow, let me go, Ukiki. I was only teasing. Can't you take a joke? I'll tell you what. 
Let's trade. If you let me go, I'll give you something really good. So how about it? Yeah, free him. Give me your goods. Oh, but look at him. He's so cute. Follow the monkey. Hee 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 hee. Onward! Ow. Onward more! Thank you, monkey. Racking up the stars now. Alright, let's try to get the star I was originally going for in this one. With the snowman's giant stupid head. Yeah. I can, um, maybe I can boing over there? No, I slide. Uh, I hate you, snowman. Why are you popping up where I be all the time? Uh, um, I need to stop falling for this centrifuge that is this level. Oh, mushroom. Thank you. This game, uh, this game is giving me a lot of lift right now and I really don't need it. Oh, uh, snowman. I saw that. If I had wanted lip, I would have gone downtown to the lip store, okay? Uh, wh what the? Well, okay. Mario just uh, glitched out for a second. Alright, so this is the shell. So I can go up. I can go up here. And I think... Motherfucker. Can I still go... Can I still go up? Uh, water is hurting me because it's cold. Apparently that's the logic. So I can't heal in water. How d Oh, maybe I can, uh... Go this way. Just jump past all of the oncoming slopes. Yeah! I think I'm on the right track. Uh, just gotta be careful. I remember the snowman uh, blows wind that will make me not only fly off, but I will lose my hat. And this penguin- uh. Hey, who's there? What's climbing on me? Is it an ice ant? A snow flea? Whatever it is, it's bugging me. I think I'll blow it away. Well, this penguin friend over here is going to use his very plump body to block the wind for me. When he eventually backtracks. Onward, friend! What?! The wind was blocked! Uh... I don't care about you. Let's try this again, shall we? It's okay. I love to the backtrack. They call me Equinox, the backtracker, because I track back so much. I backtrack so much that I I track backwards. Track back. Baby, make your trap back. I think I've officially lost my mind. Or at least semi-officially! <sighs> I should have gone for it. But now I know. Don't leave the penguin. Just stick with him. 
Come on, Mr. Pengu. No, 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 no. I hate how slippery it is. What? No! Getting very close to losing my mind. But I won't just yet. Things are good. I'm enjoying this game. I, no, you're not giving me again, you dumb snowman. This game is fun. I'm enjoying it. It's charming. It's colorful. It's Mario. My favorite as a kid. One of my favorite games. How can you... Oh, God. Oh, 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 I can't jump. I can't jump. Why can't I j Oh, God. Uh, hello, Flower Boinger. Uh, how can one lose your mind whenever you're playing such a fun game like this? Please grab, grab, Mario, grab. Thank you. And look, there's a row of Shy Guy masks looking at me the entire time I was doing that. That's, that's comforting. Now, can we do this a third time? Hopefully the third time will be the charm of this expedition we got going on. Mr. Penguin, Mrs. Penguin, if you prefer. I don't know. You are a lovely individual and I would very much like for you to uh, guide me through this, this very annoying part of the stage oh thank you thank you ah oh, yes uh. star right there uh i hate how this is placed i can easily slide off of that and back into that whole rigmarole should i jump or should i just tiptoe i'm going tiptoe uh and yarg that was also more annoying than it needed to be. I've noticed some levels like to do that. Seems simple enough, but whoops, it's annoying. Uh, I'll do one more in the water one. And the water one. Actually, do I want it fully flooded? Yeah, shocking arrow lifts. I don't get what that means. Don't fall off this time. That's how I make Watcher blood. Hmm. What be this? Oh, are those arrows? Shit. Those might be the arrows I needed to lift. So... Uh... Yeah, I can make that. We. Oh. I can make that. But does that mean I will? E. Hooray. Oh, uh, wait a minute. How far away is that? Can I long jump that? Uh, you know what? Better not risk it. But if that thing touches me, am I going to be frozen in place while the arrows move? Mm. Ooh. Wait, it's going to move back. Uh, yep. Uh, so, this has the potential to be annoying. I can't duck past it. Oh, <gasps> don't shake, please. No, oh, 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 no, no, please. Mario, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. You fuck, you fuck. 
I didn't even know there was a fire spitter thing there. Uh, and you can't defeat those. What? Uh, they're just there to be an to be an uh, to be an invincible obstacle that you have to maneuver around. And uh, by the time I saw it, the fire was already coming my way. Uh, you suck. You know what? I'm just gonna give one honest attempt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was not an honest attempt. That was a deceiver. That was a deceiving attempt. Now, here's the real honest attempt. <gasps> mm -hmm. Well, now I know. Because it's my super short show. Yeah, cheese it this time. Fuck you, you fire thing. I don't even. I accidentally uh undid my headphones when I uh was screaming at the fire thing, but it's back now. Anyway, I got sixty stars. That's enough for this episode. Ugh. Thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Later. Ugh, Mario. That's a mood if I've ever seen one.